Murray Creed here at Groove Studios in Victoria, British Columbia. Today I'm going to be talking about a drum beat called the 16th note groove. Now the 16th note groove, uh, when you play it with one hand, is typically played for slower tempos. Let me just play you the groove, you can hear what I'm talking about. So by adding in all those extra hi-hats between the basses and snares, it keeps my tempo more consistent when I'm playing slower tempos. Because the tempo I was actually playing there, bass drum and snare drum wise, was about this. There's a lot of room for error between those notes, so what we do is we fill in that space with the 16th notes, we subdivide the space, and that keeps us more consistent in our tempo. Now, you'll also notice that I was uh, giving that accent again. This time I was accenting the one and two and three and four and, and I was playing the E's and the U's, the notes that fall between them, as quiet notes. Let me give you an example of that. When you add that hi-hat pattern to the groove, it sounds really nice. It sounds like this. Now, that's for slower tempos, single-handed groove. If I wanted to play faster, I would use what we call a two-handed groove. The two-handed groove sounds like this. Now, I play the two-handed groove when it's too fast for me to do with one hand. If it's too fast for me to do with one hand, I, I share the work between my two hands, and I do the double-handed idea. And what that does is it allows me to play a lot faster than I can with the one hand. So I'm going to play that a little bit faster so you can get the idea. I can't do this with one hand, so I'll do it with two. Okay, so eighth note, or sorry, sixteenth note groove, single-handed is for slow tempos, double-handed for faster tempos. Have fun with those.